Hello everyone, Sakuchi back with some more Dominion. This is a Dominion League match against Marcus. Uh, Mick Senok is also going to be doing some commentary, and I'll link to uh, his video in the description. So this is my second second match this season. My first match was against Mick Senok. Uh, and I was defeated uh, handily, zero to six. <clears throat> so I'm gonna need uh, some some really strong matches from here on out to avoid demoting. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, we've got Paige. In that whole line of cards, Sentry for Trashing. There's Pathfinding. This could be one of those Pathfinding on Throne Room boards that I've heard about. Candlestick Maker for plus buy. Jack of all trades does not seem appealing. So Sentry Vassal is a pretty pretty strong engine core. I think I might want to open with Page and Vassal. Well, I'm wondering how important Paige is now. Distant lands, that uh, benefits from the plus action from Champion. Hunting grounds, of course, benefits. But I think we can get pretty thin with Sentry. I'm going to open with Page and Vassal, I think. Give that a try. I think I'll get a candlestick maker here. The other alternative is another page. Hmm. I'm not too thrilled about the page. This is pretty unfortunate. Well, I'm really behind now. And I still don't have five, unless I draw the candle, or unless I reveal the candlestick maker with Vassal. Yeah, feeling pretty lost now. It's unfortunate that it's my start also, but I probably shouldn't give up so soon.
But this is nice. Especially if I hit the warrior. Oh no. Okay. I was terrified of warrior hitting my warrior. But trashing silver is fine. Hunting grounds already. Man, I just can't catch a break. So my warrior misses. It's not like critical that I get to champion super fast, but it certainly would be helpful. It's a little bit faster than me. So, do I get a hunting grounds or do I get another sentry? I'm just never going to play these sentries, it looks like. So all the trash cards are his, but he hasn't trashed any estates yet, so his sentry luck hasn't been great. There is a lot of draw here, so the third sentry was probably a mistake. Because I can just put Pathfinding on something. There's Menagerie, there's Hunting Grounds. Champion is going to make Hunting Grounds non-terminal. <clears throat> yeah. Page and Vassal, interesting. Nice throne room. Uh, we'll go with a, let's go with a, hmm, interesting. Go with the hunting grounds. Hopefully I draw my hero, or a sentry that'll let me draw my hero. So I think Marcus is going for for more treasure payload, I guess, by getting the other page. I guess we'll see. I assume he's going to exchange it for treasure hunter. He hasn't trashed a single estate. But he's got enough draw now. If he manages to line up, you know, if he finds his hunting grounds, he's going to have enough draw. <sighs> Turn 11, and I don't even have a champion.
Well, that turn worked out better than I um, had expected. So, should I put pathfinding on something? Thinking about pathfinding on throne room. I could also put it on vassal. I think that's awkward to put it on vassal, especially awkward. Uh, I think we want another candlestick maker, but there's also, like, we have the potential to throne the candlestick maker, so getting throne room and pathfinding is also a possibility. But I think I'd rather keep the coin tokens, just get candlestick maker and pathfinding on throne room right now. So Marcus goes ahead and gets a treasure hunter. He's getting the warrior now. So he's just going to have a hero for his payload. That's pretty good. Alright, so I can play that with Vassal. Uh, better to play it on sentry. I don't think I have anything in my discard pile that I want to trash. So we can throw in the vassal, I guess. All right, and now... Now we have plenty of draw. So what we want to do is get some distant lands, I guess, along with some more payload. So throne room, vassal, distant lands will cost me 12. Seems pretty OK. I think the third century was a mistake. But we'll see. So I'm a lot thinner than Marcus. He might dud. He hasn't trashed any estates. And he's only, he's trashed four copper, I think. So now he's trashed five copper. Right. Wait, no, I've trashed all my copper, apparently. So he's only trashed four copper. Uh, 
throne room targets, I'm going to want to choose our candlestick maker and vassal in some order. Probably want to get more plus buys than I need for some pile control. This game will almost certainly end on three piles. Four cards in hand, three estates. into hunting grounds, I guess. Um, yeah. So Marcus has similar thoughts. How many buys do I want? Definitely four. So I have nine coins, 11. At the very least. And then six coin tokens. Four buys, what would I do? Candlestick maker, throne room, distant land. I can get more vassals, get more throne rooms. I think I'm okay. All right, so I need to watch the pileout situation. I don't know how many buys he can get. I think I'm gonna throw in the vassal. Keep more coin tokens, I guess. The issue is I can only get up to seven buys with three candlestick makers, and that's if I throw in all of them. Hmm. So is it safe for me? To put the piles that low? I don't know what that last card is. What is it? It's another vassal. Okay. So I have enough coins. So let's go ahead and do this. So with five buys, I get two distant lands, a candlestick maker, and a throne room. I mean, I should have thrown the vassal if that was my plan. So 
if I just get one distant lands. Throne room candlestick maker. Now we're looking at maybe one more throne room. I still should have used the throne room on the vassal. But I don't think it matters too much. I think Marcus will have this. What do you have last turn? I spent 16 coins last turn. No, he probably doesn't have he probably doesn't have the win. I think even if I take two throne rooms, I'm taking a candlestick maker and I'm taking a distant lands and a throne room. And that all adds up to 11. And the question is whether I get another throne room or I get another distant lands. I think we'll go with another throne room. Which means I don't have to spend any coin tokens. So he put the plus card on Candlestick Maker and he has like seven of them or something. And he also needs to get some points. He won't be able to just pile. sure if it's possible for me to dud here. Yeah, it is if I reveal some candlestick makers or the distant land, but very unlikely. I have an estate in there also. How many throne rooms do I have? Three. I have three throne rooms. All right, I played three throne, room, throne rooms last turn, so I have five, and Marcus has two. So the maximum number of buys Marcus can get with his seven candlestick makers and two throne rooms is 10. I think he's coin limited right now on the pile out. We're gonna find out. He does have a hero, so he can gain a gold and draw it up, which is nice. He's got two vassals, I think. Two 
two gold, one silver, three copper. That's eight from his coins. It'll be eleven after he plays hero. Uh, he could he could actually throne the hero. So if he throws the hero. Gets up to 18 from treasures and throned hero. 22. And he can throw in a vassal. We'll get up to 24. He can throw in a candlestick maker. No, no, no. He needs to throw in two candlestick makers. So 22. Thrones two candlestick makers, so he effectively plays. Oh no, he only has to throw in one, I think. So 24 plus 8 plus 3. 35, yeah, okay, he's got the win. And I don't think there was really anything I could do about that. Have to take green, you just be in control of the game. Oh, he only had the two throne rooms, right? So he needs to throne his last candlestick maker, right? I guess he doesn't even need to. No, he did need to throw it. Okay. Yeah, that was really close. So actually, I I did just cost myself the game by getting the throne room instead of the uh, the distant lands. Maybe there's a chance for me if I if I get the distant lands instead. Far too complicated to calculate out. I mean, I just did it, but. Would have been very time consuming to do it before I made all those decisions. Uh, tax board. Good to go second on a tax board, I guess. Governor. Goons. Oh, wow. That's a strong combination. Well, there's a lot of hand size attacks. Looks like Urchin is the way to trash. So if my opponent... I mean, no matter what, my opponent should be able to open Urchin Urchin. So the tax thing doesn't seem to matter too much on the opening. Unless he has a 2-5 or a 5-2. I have to imagine that Urchin Urchin is the correct opening. <laughs> it's the only way to trash, other than Governor, which is bad. Uh, the draw is going to be Governor, and it's really good with the discard attack. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about my opening. I don't think there's any merit to anything else. So, do we get another urchin? Of course we do. You know, do we get another urchin? I just am terrified of missing. So.
going big for the treasures. I don't know about that. Marcus tax governor. How rude. Should I tax Urshan? I guess he can always collide them if he draws with governor, but... Seems potentially okay. Something else that seems kind of appealing is a coin of the realm. So I can start off with a mercenary trash, then do stuff with the cards I draw. Seems pretty okay. It's also the only village, it looks like. So if I want to play multiple goons, which I do, I'm going to want that coin of the realm. Hmm. Well, I'm glad I didn't tax urchin. That's pretty fortunate for Marcus, that he managed to collide his two urchins. Same turn I did. <laughs> There's that backfire of the debt. Um, man, and he gets to, gets to five, because he has the golds, right? Okay. Hmm. I think I want a coin of the realm. Faithful Hound is really interesting. But first you need coins. I think I'll get one more mercenary. I'm the only one with the silvers. Hopefully I can use that to get even on governors. So he gets a second mercenary also. I'm hopeful the next turn is pretty pretty strong for me.
Do I have another estate in there? I mean, I know I have another estate in my deck. I discarded one last turn. So, I think I want to play the mercenary first here. I have the coin of the realm. Because I might want to play this governor for draw. In which case, I'd want to be able to follow it up with a uh, urchin attack. So I have another governor, I think. Wow. Uh, okay. We got there in the end. Okay. So the question is whether I get another governor now or a goons. I have four governors. I'll get the goons. I think it's not the end of the world. If I lose the governor split four to six. So my plan is to draw my entire deck. So I think I'll keep the governors. I have four governors. I'm gonna use two at least for draw. I wanna pair up a mercenary with my another mercenary and a copper. Uh, so I think I'm gonna keep two governors and a mercenary. So now Marcus is trashed down. He has one estate and one copper, and I have two copper. I have the urchins, which are nice, because once the mercenary food runs out... Oh, wait. Huh. There's um, goons, right? So we can buy copper to fuel mercenary. I have the coin of the realm advantage. So next turn, he's not going to be able to play... Oh, he can't even play his goons this turn. Right? Or I guess he can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he won't be able to play multiple terminal actions next turn. Now this is interesting. I could trash Mercenary for a Coin of the Realm. I didn't discard any copper, right? So I can still trash two copper with the mercenary. Hmm. Could be nice to have another coin of the realm going into next turn. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> mm. 
That was dumb. All I can do is upgrade. Alright, so he gets the last governors. Okay. Got a coin of the realm. Maybe I need to play another governor. Guess I do. Right, so the goons is going to be the discard attack. Okay. So, I'm definitely buying a Goons. I could buy another Goons, and the plan there would be that I don't play the Mercenary. I just play three Goons. Seems pretty good. Yeah, the urchin advantage is meaningless. I don't think any other five cost cards are really worthwhile. Potentially I can trash some of these silvers with mercenary. But I need some more coins of the realm first. Two coins of the realm on the on the mat, which is okay. Double goons. Perhaps planning to be in a position to end the game. So I need to use all these governors for draw. I wonder if it makes sense to... only play two of the goons this turn. 
get a trash in for reliability. Okay, my opponent is capable of four buys. I think it probably is good to trash. I don't know what that card is. Could just remodel into province right now. All the coppers are trashed. There's one mercenary. Oh wait, Marcus has two mercenaries, so he could remodel mercenaries into Coin of the Realm. No four cost cards, so there's no way to remodel into goons. No way to remodel into urchin. So I don't think there's any surprise pile out here. But it's really close. Okay, and he trashed his mercenary. He only has one coin of the realm in hand. So he can play two more guns, but that will make his next turn worse. So we might just decide to play one of the goons, keep an extra coin on the mat. So we need to look for the province pileout also. We're not going to be able to accomplish it, but Marcus might. 
be able to get like four provinces in one turn. I don't know if he can get five. He needs like four governors for draw. Yeah, I don't think he can get five. So he should be safe to take one more province if Marcus doesn't take a province here. And if he does take a province, then that's fine. We'll just keep buying other stuff. Getting the goons points, because I think if he buys another province here, the long game will will favor me, if it doesn't already. Two golds in the trash. Four are somewhere. I might not have any of them. So Marcus definitely has the province pileout potential that I do not have. Can he afford two provinces this turn? If he has four gold, he can. So that would be pretty scary. If he gained a gold and bought two provinces. Huh, interesting. Duchies. Do I have more piloting potential than I think? So am I playing mercenary? I don't think so. I think I'm playing three goons. I kind of want to get another coin of the realm into play, so I think I draw. Okay. So Marcus only has one coin of the realm on the mat, so he can only have, at most, four buys. He can use Governor Remodel, but he can never remodel into Goons. And he only has one card that he can remodel into Coin of the Realm. I'm not giving him any upgrade opportunities. So with four buys, so I can safely take one goons. And that will leave me, I think I can go goons like wishing well, wishing well, copper or something. Copper puts me in debt, but it is worth quite a lot of VP. Three coins of the realm on the mat seems pretty good. If I can get five goons in play, I win the game. Right. Yep, 
I think that's accurate. So we should go goons, wishing well, wishing well. And copper, I guess. It's a three VP copper. Hopefully that copper doesn't cost me. If I get five goons in play... Well, no, I don't necessarily... Well, okay. So if I get five goons in play, then I need 20 coins to win. Uh, that's certainly not guaranteed. And I need 21 because of... So I have two silvers. That brings me up to 14. I have a coin of the realm. That brings me up to 15. Hmm. I might not actually have it. But if I get five goons in play, we'll be able to get a lot of points. Yeah, I think on Marcus's previous turn, he should have got to four provinces, because I think he would have had a chance. I think he was able to do that. Maybe he was one coin short. And he played them. Oh, the mercenary is going to give me two coins. Okay, so with the two silvers and the mercenary and the five goons, it gives me 16 coins. 17 with the coin of the realm. Still a little short. Uh, hmm. Oh, there's salty earth. Ah. Ah, so maybe, yeah. So it was risky for... Right, right. So if Marcus lowers provinces, then I look for a salty earth win, potentially. But that doesn't interact nicely with goons. So I might... No, I probably wouldn't have been able to do it. Hmm. Uses all the governors for draw. No remodeling is happening here. All right, I will discard. Kind of want the copper to trash, but. I think that's the most flexible start for me. gets a lots of coins into play, I think. But yeah, I don't think I have it. But Marcus, like, needs to be really careful with what he buys. He's safe to buy two provinces, I think. Probably. Maybe not. I can definitely get to 16 this turn. And then I can use two extra buys on copper, which are each worth 5 VP. 
Um, if he buys two provinces and two copper, I think he takes a lead over me, though. Yeah, that's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for me to beat. I think we need to use all our governors for draw. So what's in our discard pile? A copper, two silvers, a wishing well, three goons, and an urchin. So I have um, three silver, apparently. All right, so if I have six buys, it's 30 points that would win so if I can get up to 21 coins I can buy two goons and four coins the realm and win so five goons is 10 coins mercenary is 12 three silver is 18 I can't quite do it. Coin of the Realm is 19. Alright, so I can't win that way. Let's look at the Salty Earth on Province approach. So I'm going to have six by. So if I have six by, I only have two buys on non salty earth. Salty earth, salty earth brings me up to 30 VP. That's not enough. Hmm. Seem to be in a bind. So since I can't win the game this turn, probably the best thing for me to do is to only call two of my coins of the realm so that I have two on my tavern for next turn. Marcus only has one coin of the realm on his tavern mat. So yet again, his potential is not huge. He's got a lot of governors and he's got a lot of golds. So if I only call two coin of the realms, I can still play four goons, which is really strong. In addition to the mercenary. What do I want to use the mercenary on? I guess we can look at I'm just wondering if I can use the governor for like gold gain it's probably too optimistic um,
copper, two silver. Wishing well, urchin, three goons. That's eight cards in there. But three of them are cantrips. And one of them can potentially draw another card. So that's like draw four. And then I have the wishing well and the urchin in hand. I think it's probably better to just to draw with the governor. Probably. I don't even know what my last card is. I discarded three goons, so it's not a goon. Is it a coin of the realm? I have three on my mat, so I don't think so. Oh yeah, what is my last card? Shoot. I can just play a wishing well now. I guess. Wish for goons. Seems okay. What did I draw? Silver. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, okay. So I have an extra silver. So I have four silver. Oh, that is enough. Right? I have a copper in there. Uh, do I have the draw? I have a silver. Oh my gosh, I'm just confusing myself. I'm in one debt. Five goons is 10 coins. A mercenary is 12. Four silver is 20. So I need to play either a coin of the realm or I need to play the copper. If I draw the wishing well here, then I can win. I think it's worth it. Wow. I have a wishing well and a silver in there. Is there any way for me to win? call this coin of the realm? Is there any way for me to win if I don't call the coin of the realm? Hmm. Of course, if I knew that I had a silver there, I would have played governor to draw first, and I would have had a more informed wish. I just needed to 
do that wishing well. All right. So what's the situation here? One coin of the realm, I just lose, right? It's like it's either this turn or next turn. I suppose it's better to like threaten. Of course, he can just salt the earth, yeah. So I just need a complete dud from him, I think. I'm going to take a break. This is exhausting.
All right, I'm back. I'm not in the best state of mind. Ugh. Another keep game. This board is unpleasant. The draw is weak. It's vault. Legionary is a strong attack. There's dominate and colony, so tons of VP. I think it pays to build, but the building is it's painful. Hero can gain Platinum, which is really strong. I mean, I think this has to be a remake page opening. And you just get a lot of pages. Maybe one of... One of your shelters should turn into a Candlestick Maker, but the other two should be pages, probably. Too sure what we do to build. This is unfortunate. Maybe I just get a billion pages. Uh, if my remake misses, that will be very sad. I don't think Battlefield matters, there's so many points. I think Legionary is worth it, but it's pretty awkward, because then you have to buy golds, and you don't really want golds on this board. Remodel's a pretty good payload, so he gets remodel really early. Um, I don't really need a candlestick maker right now. I can just get one later. What is the remodel going to do? Oh, no. Hmm. Yeah, that's an unfortunate treasure hunter. Yeah, I like remodel now. Maybe his treasure hunter will be in his hand now. Okay, so what am I doing? I trashed... Yeah, sure, let's just get a billion pages. Uh... I mean, whatever.
No luck. Alright, so now I think I like a remodel, I guess. What's the remodel going to do? Eventually it's going to remodel Remake into Border Village. Do I want it now? I think I want... I think I want three coming up the line. So I'm just going to have a lot more silver than Marcus, which is uh, terrible. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Eh, whatever. Uh, let's undo that. Eh. All right. Uh, sad. So I had all these pages, and like they could have all these travelers. They could have paired up with Warrior, and then he would have like trashed his Warrior. It would have been great. Trash is treasure hunter. That's something. Oh, what am I thinking? Legionary doesn't matter when you have champion. Sweet, got rid of one of my silvers. What did my warrior do? Right. Okay. So we can get another remodel. Do some weird turbo remodel thing. I think I have two warriors in here, so hopefully I draw into them. This necropolis. those vaults. Mm. No warriors. And I have my only villages. Frustrating.
His shuffle worked out nicely. I'm pretty scared to play the warrior. But I won't let fear lead my life. Rule my life. All right. Yep, I want one more hero. Might be time to green. Spells a treasure hunter. Three treasure hunters, what? Holy crap. Wow, he, he upgraded all his pages. That's crazy. All right. Need to look for pileouts. Oh gosh. The vault reactions. So I can remake Necropolis. I thought this game would be fast, but then we became aware of the vault reactions. Yeah, I'll trigger a shuffle. Oh man, this warrior. Huh, that's it? Shouldn't that have been four cards? Oh, I did. It was just vault twice. Okay. Um, so we get a platinum here, clearly. So we can get up to dominate, potentially. I mean, that's definitely happening, right? So we can discard the border village. And we'll have, no, we won't quite have enough, right? But colony's probably fine. We can also like do the farmland thing. That doesn't seem good here, okay. Um, I don't know how valuable Dominate is. Pretty good, right? Do I have 
five. So I'd have to discard two cards. I draw into something good. Eh, I don't think it's that important. I think I'm fine to buy a colony. Do I want a page or a candlestick maker? Okay. Okay. So we are going to... Keep one warrior. And keep the rest of these. Marcus does have three warriors, which is pretty cool. No heroes. He has two treasure hunters that he can't upgrade until he upgrades his warriors. play on vault. So we went for one hero. Yep. Uh, I want to look at a farmland on border village potentially. Ooh. Oh, wow. And then we can get... Could get a duchy. I think I'm okay with that. I have three remodels to Marcus's two. We each have one hero. He has two warriors to my one. Vaults? I don't know. We'll probably split. Played a lot of them two turns ago. I have at least four. I have at least five, right? Yep, I have five. Coming for ventures. Okie dokie. I'm gonna try to like move closer to a pile out. Uh, I think 
we want a remodel. Hmm, okay. So, I'm feeling pretty good this game. I've got a VP lead, and our deck's pretty good. I think we have more platinum. I think he's trashed a platinum. Yeah. So, I might lead platinums 3 to 1. Which is really good. And I have more border villages, and I have four remodels, and we split the vaults. Pretty good. Platinum could be a pile. Remake could be a pile. A lot of potential piles. This is a this is a grind. When the first two games take like seventy minutes, it's tough to stay focused. So coppers, there are like three coppers out there somewhere. Just bought a province. It's not too impressive. I mean, I have more vaults, so I shouldn't have actually done that. I found some pages. Hmm. So I do have enough for dominate. Hey, found a remodel. Okay. So it's going to end on provinces. Need to grab provinces whenever I can.
was a weird game. Close. We need five. All right, we need six, which we don't have. Or we need another remodel. I don't know whether I should discard like province and remake. I think I'll do it. Okay, we got it. Okay, we won one. First win of the season. again. Council room goons. Oh my gosh. This is just like the second board. It's also bank. She could be... Could be pretty okay. Probably market is the best opening here. Pilgrimage should be good. To like kickstart. Wow, my draws are really nice. Market misses, but I won't lose too much sleep over it. Uh, can we just get by Hagler's dangerous here Fortress is not valuable right now But it will be can I get by I think I can get by Without any silver He's had pretty unlucky draws. He's got his estates left. Two silver, though. He'll be clean. Yeah, I think I need another market. I could, I could go in for a council room for a haggler. So the cool thing about haggler is I can buy goons and get fortress. The bad thing about Hagler is if I buy, well, there's like Pearl Diver and stuff. I think it'll work out. So I want to keep three copper.
How many have I trashed? Just two? Hmm. So I trashed two copper. So this is this is Hagler Market Estate Copper. Get that Pearl Diver. So Marcus is very clean. Could get council room and fortress. Kind of like planning ahead. The alternative is I get Market Fortress or Fortress Pearl Diver and trash an extra copper. Could get yet another Hagler. Hagler Fortress. With the hopes of getting like Goons Fortress Council Room or something crazy. Problem there is I'm not making headway with respect to my number of stop cards. Hmm. But I need council room eventually. I'm going to be a little bold here. He doesn't have a goons yet. Yeah. Once he gets a goons, I'm going to need a council room, of course. But yeah, the ideal turn here is to buy goons, gain council room fortress. Fortress is the only village, so if I can win that split, I'll be in pretty good shape. So he probably wants goons fortress, would be my guess. I don't know what his other card is. Copper? Probably copper. Potentially there's a turn where I can set up like a bank thing. Buying bank, gaining goons and council room or goons and fortress or something. There's lots to do on this board. The key is to get the fortresses for the opponent. He goes with the double haggler also. Interesting. Okay. I can trash a copper.
up, I see a fortress. If I lose a turn, that will be pretty bad. Three fortresses in a market, which are good draws. Bad, bad news. Probably get two fortresses here. I think I trashed the copper for reliability. The bank is interesting though. Could go... Could get bank, goons, fortress. It's not crazy. So this turn, or next turn, like how much is the bank worth? I mean, we probably want to play like reliable since we have the advantage, right? Although we're only splitting the fortresses five five, but let's see here. So we're gonna get another goons. Oh, we do want the draw, right? All right, we'll just get goons council room fortress. I forgot that. He's going to start attacking me with goons now. So how many stop cards do I have? One, two, three, four. I don't need another council room. But I think the bank play is a little too ambitious. Just buy some more copper too. Bank Goons Fortress. Let's just play conservatively. Could get a market here. And I think I'll start adding payload next turn. Oh my gosh. Uh, if I draw a chapel here, that'll be the worst luck ever. I have a market and five fortresses in there. And I have a pearl diver, which is also a fine draw. So the only bad draw is chapel or haggler.
actually support much more in the way of goons. Can support one more. So I go bank, goons, council room, and some copper. Get silver. It's less VP now. Wow, that's two bad turns, because i that's all my fortresses. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I got greedy. Wow. Feels bad. Feels bad. That dud feels real bad. Maybe there was a safer way to close out the game. Pilgrimage. Could be another dud. Yeah, I should have just gone with the... I shouldn't have messed with the bank. That was unnecessary. Should have gone with the pile emptying approach. All right. Huh. We really overestimated our draw.
Marcus definitely has a chance. Let me keep track of his buys. He has some markets. Wait, does he have a... Yeah, he, he has enough money, f or excuse me, he, have enough, he has enough, enough buys to empty, but he'd need um, 20 coins, which he doesn't have. So my hope is that I can get a nice turn where I get enough buys to just buy out the markets and gain the Pearl Divers to end it. That would be ideal. It's pretty realistic, I think, but there's definitely no guarantee. Also, a potential curse pile out. Buying five pearl divers and gaining, playing two hagglers. So, like, Marcus could potentially do that, right? But if he only plays two goons, then he's not actually gaining any VP. <clears throat> so, it only works for the person who's ahead in VP. But yeah, if you play like two goons. And two hagglers, and you have ten coins. You can buy five pearl divers, gaining curses to win. He's got a pilgrimage. I don't think that makes the pile situation particularly easier. You need like 18 coins to be able to empty goons. Well, plus, yeah, 22. He just doesn't have the coins. And any piles he empties makes it easier for me. That double dud turn, though. Yeah, the bank was a mistake. Wait, oh, Marcus thinks he has it. The states, maybe? But what other pile? He plays another Haggler. Does he have, he didn't have 20 coins, or could he? Two silvers.
Does he have 20 coins? I guess I don't know what the cards in his hand are. He has two goons. He has... Whoa, he has two hagglers. And two silver. It's not enough coins. Oh. There's the death card thing. Hmm. Ruin the market. Oh, that's better than curses. Oh. So if he buys five pearl divers, then they are each worth. Then some estates. Man, I feel like an idiot.
I don't know what this board is. Guess you remake, then you have market squares and you get golds. Seems pretty bad. I can resign. Armory. Sure, whatever. I see the appeal. Trigger a shuffle without my remake. Yeah, sure, whatever. Marcus still has his necropolis. I still have my overgrown state.
What is this game? This game is terrible. This game is courtyard money, maybe, but they're castles and chariot race, so maybe not. Hmm. What do you do though? The draw is really bad. Ghost Town Courtyard. Really bad. But you got a thin because of Chariot Race. Wow. Yeah, it's going to get a trash off. I think Courtyard is probably the best thing to get. Farmer's Market's the only plus buy. I think silvers are fine.
I'll discard the courtyard. Well, no. I want to keep the estate in hand. Seems like a potentially good cemetery turn. Get a province. So, do I want to play the lucky coin? I don't think so. This should be a good. Cemetery. Do I want a ghost? I can top deck a copper, then I can trash all those. We can top deck a gold, we trash one fewer. I think I'll go in for Humble Castle pretty soon. Could get another gold. We haven't seen Flame's Gift yet, but we haven't seen a whole lot of boons yet. Presumably Marcus is going to go in for chariot races now. Okay, 
could get another gold-silver combo. Seems pretty okay. A few too many monies now. This is core distribution. It's good to have the ghost town though. I guess there's points in farmer's market too. I just don't have the energy to build on this board. do it. Good news is we're going to get our ghost and merchant ship back before our shuffle. for provinces. I was thinking about a cemetery buy, but We'll just buy provinces. Maybe I'll lose because of the farmer's market. That'd be unfortunate. What boons haven't we seen yet? Mountains gift, that's pretty poor. Sun's gift, that's pretty good. Two buys.
that was a really important boon to get. So this boon is either Sun's Gift. Oh, interesting. Can't really afford anything good. I might actually want to buy an estate though. I know exactly what that boon is. It's not very impressive. Okay, so I have enough to buy the sprawling castle, but just barely. Let's not discard. He's got the small castle. See how having the fool in hand is going to help me. So I'll go ahead and get the mountain's gift. Farmer's Market is going to be VP. Which is pretty valuable, but it also means he's not going to be able to double province for a while, I think. Hmm. A lot of bad cards. I think I just need to go for province.
All right, well, that's, I uh, guess I'll be demoting this season. Sad times, but I'll try to play well in my remainder of matches later.